Clearly, it suited the US government, the Mafia, and in particular, Michael Jeffrey, for Jimmy to be neutralized. But just how did Jimi Hendrix die? All right, now it's been said for, the, for 30 years that Jimi Hendrix choked on his own vomit. It was said that he died of a heroin over, overdose. Of course, none of that's true. He didn't choke to death on his own vomit. Something had to make him sick, right? So now it's known that he took nine Vesperex tablets. These are sleeping pills uh, the night that he died. Now, it's been said that he died from an overdose of barbiturates. The problem is Jimi Hendrix was a chronic insomniac. He was used to barbiturates, and the Vesperex that he, he took really had very little effect on him. He took two tablets. He didn't feel a thing, couldn't go to sleep. He had taken an amphetamine capsule at a party the night before. So the nine Vesperex tablets he, he took really had no connection to his ultimate end. But when he was wheeled into the emergency room, his throat was cleared, and the physician wrote that great masses of red wine came gushing out of his stomach and his lungs, right? So as I reenact the death of Jimi Hendrix, he must have been held down, a gallon of wine poured down his throat until he drowned. There were only 20 milligrams of alcohol in his blood when he was brought to the emergency room, which means there wasn't even enough time for that alcohol to enter his system. So the cause of death was drowning, and it looks to me like it was a forced drowning. That's why I'm laying there playing the part that great chokes me almost, but I can't let the joke come out. Jimi Hendrix had a packet of 42 Vesperex ta tablets in his pocket. Now, e Eric Burden uh, of the Animals has claimed that Jimi Hendrix committed suicide. If that was the intent, it's very likely that he would have taken all the barbiturates in his possession. So it's clear that suicide was not the object. If suicide had been the intent, uh, and if he had died accidentally, it's doubtful that he would have been fully dressed. He was found fully clothed. When the ambulance drivers arrived, they said that no one else was there. Monica Danneman claimed to be there, and of, co of course her testimony has holes in it the size of the Brooklyn Bridge. Now we know, because he was fully clothed, right, we know that it wasn't an accident. We know that uh, he didn't just die in his sleep. He was, he was in his London hotel room, and he must have been restrained. It's very doubtful that he sat down to drink the red wine and filled up his stomach and his lungs. I've never heard of such a thing. The only other possibility is that his head was held in a sink full of wine until he drowned, or he was held down and it was poured down his throat. And I think this is the most likely scenario because it's doubtful that his, his stomach would be so full of wine. I think he was held down, it was forced down his throat, filled his lungs, and uh, he was dead uh, within minutes.